little bit, bro. Come off now, let him run. Going on a charter right now. I'm about 30 minutes of sleep tonight. That's about all I got because I was fishing for tarpon all night. Anyways, I don't even know what we're gonna catch. You just stay tuned. On a yacht, dude. Living freaking large today. Comes with the price though, that's for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna catch that boy today. Zuggy's not because he's absolute trash. But that's fine. So abstract. Yeah, it's complicated. Our first stop of the trip was to get our bait, so we came up to this one reef to cast net a bunch of pilchards, and this was honestly very fun to do. I had the job of shaking the chum bag to bring the fish in, and Zuggy was throwing out these sandball things. I, to be honest, I don't really even know what it was, but once all the fish were close to the boat, my man Carson would throw this giant cast net out and catch so many of these little fish. Just got the bait. Time to catch a big one. The first style of fishing we did was called kite fishing, which I've never heard of this before, but basically we had kites out in the air and our lines were connected to them hanging down into the water, and we had to reel up and let our line out to keep the bait in the correct position. And after a little bit of doing this, we finally hooked up. Now we started reeling down on this fish, and we got them hooked. But the coolest thing about offshore fishing is that when you hook up, you have no idea what it could be. There are just so many different species of fish that can be caught out here. It's pretty insane, honestly. Yes, sir. Do you see the screen lighting up? Let's turn it on. Right by the black button. Now, you gotta turn the boat a little bit, bro! Oh, the bait's flying. Feel good? Oh, yeah. None of the baits are in the air! And just like the theme of this entire trip to Florida, my line snapped. Every time. Which was a little unfortunate, but they said it was probably a kingfish, which was not our target species, but still would have been a very cool catch. And shortly after, I got my next bite. Remora eating the pilch. Oh, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I caught a remora. You know, this fish that like suck on the sharks and stuff. Um, I really don't know how I caught this thing, but I did. So, leave it to me to do that. Remora. Bro, I didn't know those things bit. I didn't either. Pretty sweet. <laughs> nice. Leave it to me to catch that one. Yeah, I know. You do. I've never <laughs> even seen anybody catch one of those. Then we switched up our style of fishing and went to a little bit deeper of water and literally just put pilchards on a hook and tossed them out there. Yep. Yep, yep. There it is. Oh, yep. Come on, come on. Doug, get the camera. Guys, Joey's on. Joey's on with something. I didn't know I was half sleeping in there. Praise God. Uh huh. No rush, Joe. Thinking that it's going to be a black friend tuna, maybe? Whatever. What happened? Yeah. It was good to be tight on, tight on something, dude. Sales usually jump, right? Yeah, sometimes though. Sometimes you get one that just doesn't jump. There you go. Oh, he's running. Nice <laughs> Joe, don't break him off now. Let him run. When he's tired, then, then, then pull. I learned from the tarpon. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta work it easy. It's not like a bass. You can't just muscle them no matter what. Yeah, no. Coming up. Oh, he's still running. All right, guys, so it's been a hot minute. 
we're finally getting out some fish. Yeah, we're right, right around the lake. I didn't even know we had a fish on until, uh, always bringing you around town. Let's go. First bonita, right? Oh yeah. Just like that. Woo! Let's go. There we go. First fish of the day for me. Nice little bonita right there, dude. First one ever. Freaking sick fish right there. Let's go, sure. first one. Let's get some more. This is when things started to get crazy. We saw not just one, but five sailfish roaming through the area, which was just absolutely insane. We were scrambling around to get our lines rebated, throwing bait out all in hopes that we could connect on one of these beautiful creatures. So what just happened right there was a bunch of sailfish just came in. I think it was a total of five. One of them ate it, but we shanked the hooks at. The other four did not eat, but they're sailfish in the area. We actually ran out of bait right now, so that's highly unfortunate, but dude, Ocean fishing is very, very, very frustrating. Well, the, apparently the, the bonita are terrible, so some dude gave us a king mackerel, and we're gonna cook that boy up. But we're gonna do a little catch, clean, cook action. I don't even like fish, so we'll see how this goes. Just got the fish here, blackened and fried. We're gonna give it a go, taste test, see if I like fish. I don't really know, I'm kinda scared. This is my lunch, so I need to like it. Let's try the fried. It's actually good. It's actually good. Not a big fish guy, but that's good. Let's try the blackened. That's that's fire though. Yeah, dude, the blackened is so much better than the fried. That's really good. And this is coming from someone that doesn't like fish at all. So yeah, it was kind of upsetting that we didn't connect on a sailfish. But that's just how fishing goes. Sometimes you catch them, sometimes you don't. It's just a struggle out there on the water, and you never know how the day might go. We had a little bit of hope there at the end, seeing that big school sailfish come through but unfortunately we couldn't connect on one of them. Anyways, I have beef with sailfish now and I need to catch one of them eventually. So maybe sometime in the future, probably not anytime soon, but I will be targeting sailfish again because now I have to catch one. I can't let the fish win. That's just, that's just who I am. Like anytime I go fishing for a fish and I can't catch them or I lose them, it just becomes personal at that point and that fish is not gonna win the battle long term. I will connect on a sailfish one day eventually so y'all just stay tuned for that video you might as well subscribe so when that video comes out and like approximately i have no idea when you guys will see it but if you did enjoy this one be sure to leave that thumbs up and as always folks fish with passion uh -oh. can somebody come and save me i just want to know i want to know